Hey. Friday. Congratulations. We both made it. I'm... Got the fan on me. I'm going to try to make sure... I'm going to adjust a bit. Give me a sec. There we go. It's out of the way. Enough of the palaver. We're going to do our Diverse World end of the week. I thought it would be a nice way to... Uh, take it... Into the weekend. Allegedly relaxing, but... Who knows how these things always turn out. This very well could be a uh, awful MN. Now. Hmm. See, the problem is, which, there's only one that seems like this could be, but this really does not feel like Macedonia. MN. Then Moldova. Hmm. I have a feeling like if this doesn't turn out to be Macedonia, like none of this looks. Unless this is Mongolia. And this is Mongolia because this is that, I believe. Yeah, they do the backwards uh, E thing. And I remember Ezek from that. Oh, how long ago was it? 100 episode, I think I did, where I did uh, something, and one of them had to do with uh, Mongolia, and their cheers is like this, backwards three, with like N's and E's and an X somewhere, too. So, I mean, this took me a while to think of Mongolia as a, another MN place, but here we are. Now, the problem is... Where in Mongolia is this? And also it says right there. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I feel we're not in Ulaanbaatar. The problem is finding out which one we're in. Because this just kind of feels like a, not so much an outpost, but more. it kind of feels like that. Very flat. A lot of, I mean, there's Cyrillic here, but I don't know if, like, it being close to the Russian border actually matters. But anyway, let's uh, get into the usuals. Um, thank you all again. Continued watching, support, and all the comments, questions, suggestions you make. I'm here for you. We're here for each other. We're uh, We're in this together now. I think I've done this song bit a lot of times by now and I'm not going to do it again um yeah if you got any suggestions for maps as I've said before and I'll continue saying leave them in the comments below I'll definitely do them if not look into them um and I'm still on the mend a bit from awful skin I mean this is the annoying thing about the human body where they say it like it was suggested that this was probably, like, stress-related in some way, and I'm going to say we're here. I mean, I don't know if this is happening. We're not near water, so maybe we're not that. Hmm. I'm going to just maybe say over here, just for no reason. But they say, like, stress is the thing that can cause, like, certain types of skin issues, and trying to fix it usually would be uh well just don't be stressed relax take this cream stuff but it's like the thing that makes you stressed causes the skin thing and then you have the skin you're like oh shit what is this it's gonna to be more stressed and it just like feeds into itself and it's like it's setting itself up for failure and it makes me wonder oh i guess we should have probably i did have my mouse over that part but then decided to pull it back a bit. So I could have gotten closer. Let's just say that for the record. But the human body's dumb. I'm very much pro robot body. Just give me the pro. I feel like this is almost um, Spain and or pro nucleo. This is a nuclear museum. Now, I know that France has a lot of nuclear power plants. Do 
other countries also have i mean i'm I, this gas station brand does not i mean we're in the european union i know that much but I don't know if there's many other European countries that have is established. All of the science here is probably going to tell us an established uh, nuclear whatever compared to um, France. But all right, Porto. I feel. Look for the A4. Is this going to be Portugal? Please. Okay. I think this is. Arms itchy. Give me a moment. I got to remember not to scratch it. Just disgusting human bodies. A4, okay. Braganca, Porto, Mogaduro. Look at me try to speak to. Okay, there's Mogaduro. So we're like here somewhere. To north, or at least south. Okay, Miranda de Miso is not showing up anywhere. So I think we're. Oh, wait. Braganca, Porto. All right, I'm gonna. I'm trying to. Like, my hand's up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm dying here. My hands are in front of me here, and I'm trying to, like, orient myself. So, Miranda is to the west, so the exact opposite. So, if we're heading this way, it's going to be that way. Mogaduro is going to be north of us. Braganca is this way. So, we're, like, here? Potentially. EN217. So, east, north, 217. Okay. To that. So 217 is like here. Braganca. Oh, come on, come, over, come back to me here. Is also. God, why am I, why am I being so dumb? Mogaduro is straight ahead. Braganca, so we're. This doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. So if we're heading this way. No, we're we're heading this way. All right. So the exact. Oh, man. All right. It's just something about my brain just refusing to work. It's like, nah, dog, you can look at this stuff all you want. You're, It's never going to register in your head. 217 is straight ahead, which is Mogaduro. I'm clicking here. So Berganca Porto is. We're here. Because 217 is this way. Heading east. I'm my brand, I'm done thinking. All right. So I wasn't that far off. But my God, my brain was just not working on that. It was, it's just one of those things where your brain's just like, yeah, no. You're just not going to get this. I feel this is South America right off the bat. Central South. Maybe Brazil, although mm, I don't know yet. I did start reading the next book. I know you all really care. Okay, this is not. This is Africa. Problem is, I don't know where because. Lomahasha. Kinshasa, I know that's a place. Maybe this is also Kinshasa is DRC. So maybe we're around here. That's his <laughs> that's my stretch of law. Okay, we are driving the backwards. Let's see where this car is. I gotta see. I think we're driving backwards. My again, yep. Oh god, not this. Nope. Um, is there another car coming? God damn it. I'm sitting... Okay, yeah. We are on the South Africa. This is South Africa, at least. All right. God. Nothing today is working. Oh, I am... The, the book I'm reading. Anyway. I started it early just because it is a bit of a bigger book than I uh, normally... Well, actually, no, it's shorter than Demons was, but it's another Russian book. I never even heard of it until today. I think it's called The Master and Margarita. 
Um, it, it sounds super unique and reading it so far reminds me a lot of, uh, um, God, what's his, uh, that good omens. It has kind of that cheeky British type of, maybe not humor, but just the way things are explained and written in the book just kind of has the same feeling to me. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It seems interesting enough that I am being only two chapters in, if it can hold my interest. I mean, I've already pot committed to actually seeing, reading this thing, so I guess it doesn't matter, but I at least like to enjoy what I'm reading. Just because I'm only... Well, yeah, actually, this is... I keep thinking it's August, but it's not. It's only been seven months into this. More than half the year, but... I'm not seeing anything enough to narrow this down anymore. And I'm, hmm, this is a big country. If, uh, if you didn't know, unless this is Lesotho, am I going to see, uh, whatever that other Kinshasa, Lom, Chasa? I'm not seeing it. All right, we're just going to hopefully see a road sign that better tells oh we got yeah Lomahasha I don't know where that is I'm looking but I think this is a small enough we got Lobamba but that's wait do we change oh they changed the name of the country huh it used to be Swaziland but now it's Eswatini when did that happen Hmm. Interesting. Learn something new every day. I'll have to look that up and see when uh, when that happened. I'm just doing a quick look. Oh, ran out of time. Oh, yeah, I guess it was. It was an Eswatini. Interesting. Oh, there's Lom... Ma... whatever. Hmm. Interesting. At least to me. I don't know if anybody else cares as much as I do, but I don't know. Countries changing names. I feel that's a big deal. At least to me. All right. What do we got? Okay. We're in uh, Israel. I don't know where. Can I go forward? Thank you. Now, I've had a few Israeli uh, guesses. But they've all been around, you know, Tel Aviv or Jerusalem. I don't know if I'm going to get, like, out of kind of like the suburbia here into a road that's going to have English or, like, a highway sign I'm going to understand. But I'm going to head, I feel this way, is like, towards some... uh like routes and highways that are going to have some signs, but then again, this is a fancy looking compound, whatever it is. I think I've hit a dead end. Yes, I have. God damn it. So much for my intuition. Let's head this way. All right, we got a road. A bit bigger. Let's follow traffic. Whoa. I think I'm going to default at least to putting ourselves in one of the larger cities. Just a matter of which one. Seems very lush for what I assume Israel is, but, you know, I've never been here. This just looks really, really hot. Uncomfortable. Another dead end. All right. This is a weird little section of whatever, whatever this is. Uh, I'm just going to guess now, put ourselves hmm, here. Like, all I'm doing now is just trying to spend the next two minutes looking for, like, a highway or something. I just almost feel like I'm doing circles here. This is very, okay, maybe this is out, but I feel like I'm about to just complete a circle here. What does this say? That dog taking a shit? can't tell. Alright, this looks to be a 
was about to say main thoroughfare, but it is exactly not that. There is a bulletin board here that tells me nothing. Hmm, man. My sense of navigation is terrible. Is there... It's like this some sort of center for something. Definitely not in a language I, I can understand. Now. Oh, we've got directory here. Okay. I was in some sort of... Like, not compound, but maybe something similar to it. Man, this is just so disorienting. Here we go. Maybe? I've thoroughly lost my... Okay, I think I've seen this before. I have not. All right. Um, I'm sticking where I put it. I really have no idea. I've just been stuck in Israeli suburbia. For this entire time. And could not get out. I chose poorly non-stop. And here we go. We were farther up north in Rishpon. I got myself all turned around. That one was a roughin'. Okay, this is Spain or South America. Don't know which yet. This San Jose school has not told me anything. Looking for URLs. That's always the go-to with these ones. Burgos. Shit, I've seen that before. Burgos. That is Spain, I believe. Burgos. Let's... Burgos, here we go. I knew it was all those EU and whatnot games, medieval games. Gonna come in handy. I always think of Spain as just always gonna be hot, and then I see things like this, and it just reminds me, no idiot. Spain is... Uh, let's zoom out. My mouse is refusing to be... Look how far north it is. It's essentially the same latitude, maybe a little farther south than where I live on latitude. So it should not be a surprise that they're going to have seasons. I mean, maybe they won't have snow, but I'm sure they, some places do. Can I find Jesus's Maria College? I mean, how many classes can you have on everybody named Jesus and Maria? I mean, far be it from me to uh, tell you what to spend your money on, but I think I'd want to have more from a school than uh, one where I just study two names. <laughs> you know, what's going to be funny is when this turns out to be fucking Spain, and then I don't know anymore. Seeing a lot of dot coms and not many URLs for uh, countries that we're in. So we're uh, going to have to make do. Dot com. Come on, people. Help me out here. These bins do not have. Anything? Nope, that doesn't help me. Come on. One of you. You know, I'm pretty sure I got this nailed. Oh, look, from the USA. You can see all our uh, dinosaurs we keep over here. Yeah, this, I'm feeling very much that I got the, uh, the city right. The only problem is, is this city actually in Spain or is this another, like, there's a million Moscow's. If you there's a Moscow in uh, Idaho, as long as also in Russia. So maybe it'd be like now there's the Spanish flag.
Okay, so I'm pretty, very much satisfied that I nailed the city. Now, I don't know where I started, but I think just having this part here, I'm feeling pretty uh, satisfied. Unless I can see, you know, the University of Jose and Maria somewhere here. I'm not seeing it, but maybe it's just like a super zoom in type thing. Well, I found Maria Lucia, but I was not that far off. Nailed it within uh, three points, though. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, way to end the week. I remember how Monday went. Oh, boy. That was a bad one. But we ended up strong with a... Uh, Good Wednesday and Friday to uh, bump the average up a little bit, but that's going to do it for this week. Um, next week, at the end of the week, I am going to be moving. Hopefully, that shouldn't interrupt any of the uh, videos coming out for next week or the week after, but if potentially could, I will front log a couple of videos, and it should not interrupt any of this stuff. But anyway, let's get through this weekend first. Uh, thank you all for watching. Again, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me any thoughts, comments, complaints, concerns. Anything in the comments below, I will get back to you as soon as I can. So, uh, until next time. Have a good one, folks. Goodbye.